Okay, in this part we're going to be talking about how to kind of finesse your audio uh, in greater detail because uh, that is very important to the success of your movie. It turns out that if you have really good audio and kind of mediocre video, uh, it's a lot more forgiving than if you have killer video and you can't hear a thing. I mean, me, people aren't even going to watch it just because they can't hear anything. So we're going to pay a lot of attention to our audio. So here we have our track down here and at this point it's just, uh, it, you know, we brought in our music and I told you music is always loud. Well, what do you do about that? Um, there's a global way you can raise and lower the volume and that is by this horizontal line that's running the entire length of your clip. Um, if you just mouse over that until your cursor turns into this kind of double arrow up and down, you can grab it and raise it and lower it. That, but that's the entire clip. The, the entire uh, clip that's, on, uh, that's represented by this green bar, which is your audio. Uh, you can fade this in, and you probably would want to do that. Uh, it just makes a really nicer, it just makes a very smoother uh, sounding audio. Uh, and you will do that towards the end, like I say, uh, when you start, you know, you're going to tweak everything on all your clips on your timeline, including your audio. We, this would be one of the things you would do. You would just do that kind of fade in. So when we play that, uh, it literally, you know, just fades it in. But let's just say, uh, in this clip right here, someone is talking. And by the way, on these video clips, the blue part here is represented uh, the audio that goes with the video. And that's, you know, and, and by the way, that behaves exactly like uh, this blue clip down, I mean, this green clip down here. So it's just that the blue is associated with the video. You can turn that on and off over here, by the way. Uh, these film strips, we didn't go into this, but there's one here on your project, and then there's another one up here in your media. Uh, they kind of are the same thing in a way, mostly. But if I click this Show Waveforms, uh, you see it goes away. But I like to see the waveforms, uh, so I can, it's a good way to actually pinpoint where to make cuts, by the way. Uh, because, uh, as you know, where there's peaks... People are talking, but where there's a flat line, uh, there's nobody talking, a really good place to make a cut. So you won't cut it words off. And of course, you can go up to clip size, you know, uh, and uh, if you want to zoom, or just, let's get click out of there, and then this zooms in, you know, makes the whole, so that you can kind of zoom in and get the whole thing uh, either in the window or, you know, really zoomed in. And it's the same thing up here too, by the way, uh, clip size and uh, zoom in. Uh, in this case, uh, it's not going to affect them as these are too small, but uh, the waveforms, <laughs> interesting, we're already on the waveforms. Let's go to a video over here just for fun real quick and uh, see when I, uh, there it goes or they go away. But I'm going to click out of there. Okay, well let's just say that we have someone talking from the beginning of this clip to like right about there. What do we do then? Okay. Well, what we're going to do is an action called ducking. So in other words, we're going to duck down our music so that you can hear clearly what's being said because that is, after all, the prime directive here. How do we do that? Well, we're going to go to this levels bar, which is right down the, the length of this, this clip. We're going to hold down the option key and I'm going to mouse right over the center there. And it, you can see that now there's a little plus there inside a diamond-shaped thing. Well, we're going to make four dots here. When I click, it's going to make a dot. Watch this. One, two, let's go down here, three, four. Now, why four? Let's get this out of the way so you can see what's happening. That's because we need an anchor point uh, so that we can raise and lower the volume. So I'm going to go right in the middle. Okay, so you see how this inner segment, so you see how this inner segment here in between these, these inner two dots 
are now highlighted. So we can I can grab this and raise and lower them. I'm going to lower them because uh, you know I want it to be lower. And so when we play that through, it's just what you expect. That's going to be lower volume than that when this person's talking. And then it's going to come back up to its uh, former level. Now look at this. It's very versatile. You can drag this uh, dot out and make a nice ramp so that it's a gradual fade up and fade down over here. You can also, if, you, if that wasn't quite right, you could, you could drag that point around, you know. So like, like, like that, maybe something. And when you play that through, you see? And you can keep doing that uh, through, throughout the, the length of this. If it were longer, you could do, do many more points. But it has to have an anchor point. Okay, and then uh, you, know, you can just move this out of the way for, for a second. So let's look up here back in our tools and let's look at our, I'm going to highlight uh, this, this uh, well, this clip right here. And there's some, some really cool tools up here. These three little circles are video and audio effects. And this works on stills and video. And this, uh, this gives you some kind of cool effects. So here we have our video effects and audio effects too, by the way, if there was any. Um, you can play around with that. That it's kind of look exact, kind of like the video effects panel, which uh, which I'm going to invoke right now. There it is. So watch what happens up here when I start mousing over this. These are all the types of things that you can do. Uh, you know, it'll change the look. Vignette is, is kind of nice. I, I think that's a really nice effect. Black and white is a good one too. And then you would just click on it, and uh, you know, you'd be you'd be done with it. Uh, so it made it a black and white. Uh, you know, that, that sometimes that's nice. And it works with the video as well. And while we're on it, on this, on that, uh, let's, let's move this out of the way here because I'm going to show you this clip right down here. <clears throat> and, you know, it's the same, it's the same thing, by the way. We can, you know, change all the, yeah. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to cancel that out. You get the idea. If, if our, uh, maybe if we have movement, where we were walking with this camera and we have shaky video, you can uh, invoke this uh, up here. You can invoke this kind of looks like a shaky camera. It is and uh, it will stabilize if I uh, press this, but I don't want to because it's going to take too much time to, to show that. But you can play around with that um, and sometimes it improves it a lot, sometimes a little and if you can't notice any noticeable change I, I would say just don't bother with it you know, so that's that's something you can do you can also change the speed right here this is cool uh, you can literally uh, make it uh, you know you can start with slow and so we get the we get the, the turtle which means slow but if we drag this uh, this bar this handle back it turns into a rabbit now it's speeded up so that's you know that might be a way you can do a little bit sometimes and get away with it to make things fit if you if you needed to. So I'm gonna just uh, reset that. And there we go. All of these clips they they don't have names in the time in the anywhere in any of these windows. But if you click on them and do the information, it'll give you the name of it. And sometimes that's useful to know. All of these things you'll be doing towards the end. So there's some other tools up here you can you can play around with. One is this uh, it's a color balance, and sometimes uh, your color might be a little off. It's not much in this, so if I just do auto, there's a little. I'm going to toggle this on and off so you can see it actually does give it a, a little more punch uh, when it's it's doing a little kind of color correction. You would you would do all of that stuff at the end uh, because uh, that's your final polishes. But you know it. it you can try and see if it if it helps. So next, we're going to take a look at uh, how we add titles and transitions.